guys, it's Sebi with Creation Zone here with another card. And actually, I shouldn't say another card because this is the first card I'm making. Usually, I do the scrapbook pages. And I did do another video for you that I haven't um, edited and uploaded yet, but I will. Um, this one is a Halloween card that I've made through. These black envelopes aren't ours, but I wanted to show it to you because I put, I have like glitter on them. You can see the glitter on that. It's actually from our Champagne Mist uh, paint that I mixed with some alcohol, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But this is the card that we're making. Um, this is from the Hand Pen Stamp Set. I just took one of the um, sentiments out of that, and we're using some Basic Black, some Tangerine Tango, and some Rich Razzleberry. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, I cut my paper. Um, eight and a half by four and a quarter. So it's eight and a half this way by four and a quarter across. Just regular basic black cardstock where I scored at four and a quarter, and that's a four and a quarter by four and a quarter square card. I run my rich razzleberry uh, through the vintage wallpaper embossing folder, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some black classic ink and a sponge, and we're just going to mix that up just a little bit and give it a little bit of gloomy spookiness and we just do that as direct to paper there we go I did have a sponge dauber around here earlier but I don't know where that got off to so we're just gonna take we're just gonna mute some of that color down a little bit so it's not so bright There you go. So you can see how purple it is on that side, and now it's more vintagey and spooky. Okay, and we can go ahead and attach that to the base of our card. This was a fun card to put together. I, I made a few of them for sending out to my family. Something simple. Now, I have a piece of the Pick Your Poison Designer Series Paper Pack and a piece of Tangerine Tango. And I went ahead and with my scissors, I went ahead and just um, stressed, up, stressed up the edges a little bit. By just taking your scissors, you can just give it a little bit of a distressed look like that. And I did the same thing to the, pump, to the um, Tangerine Tango. And when you do the inking around the um, paper, the ink will really grab a hold of those fresh fibers nicely. And we're going to do the same thing with this. Give it a little bit of a distressed look. And even on this pattern paper, the Pick Your Poison Pack, it's kind of got already some built into the paper pattern. So you don't need to even do this. Some of it is, is um, more so than others. I think it's just a variation uh, on the one piece of paper. Some of the spots on the paper are darker than others is what I mean. I love this paper pack because it comes with some really cool images. I took a piece out of there to do a scrapbook page on, and I used some of our dazzling details, and I just wrote it over the word poison. See that? And uh, I put a little bit in the bat's eye up here. Sorry about my nails. I have to go get them done. But this is going to be neat because I have a page plan for that. Okay, so now we've gotten that done. And all we have to do is adhere these two pieces together. This is really a quick card. There we go. Okay, all we have to do is mount that directly onto our card base. Very, very easy. 
I like to have easier cards if I'm going to mass produce them. And I'm cheating a little bit. I am putting these in just regular size envelopes. I mean, these are just regular size um, invitation envelopes. So I just happened to find black ones. We had a, a scrapbooking store that went out of business some years ago, and we went in there and pretty much bought all that kind of stuff right out from underneath her. So they were really clearance on top of clearance on top of clearance. And I originally had bought them for my son's graduation party, but um, I ended up doing something different. Now I'm going to use the Happy Halloween sentiment from the hand pen set that I already showed you. I like this set. I, I do like sets. Sorry, I moved my camera. I like sets that I'm able to use all through the year. And this one has the With Love for Valentine's, obviously the Merry Christmas, the Give Thanks, which I have a really cute project that I'm doing with that one, and the Happy Halloween. And it's hand-penned. It's, it's not like really calligraphy fancy. It almost looks kind of Ben Franklin-like to me, so I thought that was kind of neat. I think this stamp up really good. And then what I'm going to do, and this is not going to fit completely on here, but I want to do a banner, so I'm more worried about the words than I am all the scrollies. Ooh, that one didn't come out very good. I didn't ink that up very well. Let's see if I can do it on the other side a little bit better. I might need to re-ink my black pad. I use that pad a lot. Sorry if my head's in the way. Okay, much better. Okay, now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to come in from the side and make a little the ever so popular banner. And also with my bone folder, I'm just going to rough up that. Break down those paper fibers as we hear so often in videos. Oh, we're just breaking down the paper fibers. I'm smearing my ink a little bit, but it that's fine because it's supposed to kind of look weird and distressed anyways. Okay, now at the tip over here, I'm using some of our Glimmer Brads, and these are the basic collection believe is what they've been calling them and it has the golds the silver there's a dark pewter and there were some black ones in here and I used a lot of the black ones so I'm just going to um, use one of these really dark gray ones with my paper piercer I'm just going to come down here give myself a little bit of room because these are kind of big bigger than your average brad. There we go. And I'll just flip that over and open these pans up. My dogs are going crazy. Probably a leaf blew across the yard. All right, and on the back of there, I'm gonna put a couple of dimensionals where I put the, the brad. On the other side, I should have already had my sticky strip out, but I had all this stuff set up last night thinking, well, I'll just, when I wake up, I'll just, after I take care of all the kids, I'll just run right in here and do this real quick, but <laughs> nothing ever goes like you want it to. knew how many dogs I had here right now, you'd freak out. Okay. Thank goodness we're almost done. All right, so we're just going to start this right here on the edge. You know, 
I did that last time too. Last night I forgot to pick my liners off my dimensionals. Pull these up a little bit. Oh, the one thing I didn't do, I did on my other card, was I did distress this a little bit. I'll probably do it right here. Can't have something, you know, that's going to be straight and everything else is going to be distressed. That wouldn't look normal. Just goes to show you that when you make a mistake, there's always a way to resolve it. Out of my black. We're almost done. We just got to add a little bit of bling to it. Simple bling. Okay. All right. Now on these, uh, the skeletons of the skulls, what I did was I took some of our dazzling details. This is a new product from Stampin' Up! offered in our mini catalog right now. And, um, I ordered a few bottles because I knew I would be using this a lot. And I'm making him have some glimmery eyeballs. You can see a little bit of that, hopefully. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to uh, spritz him with some glimmer uh, paint. And I'm going to explain to you why it comes like this, but this is the way I find, I loved using it like this. There's a lot of different ways you can use this paint. You can actually, you can actually paint with it. Um, you can put it in, um, I've, I've seen somebody put it in reinkers and make the reinker shimmery. I've also, um, this is, seems to be the most popular though, just adding it to some regular alcohol. Let me cover up my ink pad so I don't get glimmer paint all over it. And shake it side to side. Make sure there's none waiting at the bottom. And there's a couple of techniques for it also. A lot of people will tell you not to spray it directly on your project because what will happen is sometimes some of the, the particles that make the paint shimmer will get clogged up in your nozzle. And I just bought these at... Um, Walmart for like 97 cents. I bought three of them because there's the shimmer paint comes in three colors. It comes in platinum, champagne mist, and I believe frost white. So this one I've used a lot. This one's really pretty. Um, and the reason they say don't directly spray it on your project is because if that does get clogged, what it'll do is it'll it'll give you a splotchy effect. Can you see on that card where it's really really splotchy? But on this card envelope, it's not. It's just perfect. So, and that's the different techniques. But because it's spooky and it's Halloween, splotchy's okay for me. If it was, you know, more of an elegant thing, it'd be different. So I'm just going to spray this directly. I'm going to add quite a bit. And depending on how much paint you put in here is going to depend on what kind of result you get. So there's my card, and it will dry very nicely. I'm going to set it to the side.